Happy Sunday everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amanda and you know what? Today is such a lovely day out. It's sunny, I have this gorgeous cherry tree right outside my window and I was sipping my coffee this morning and looking out the window and I was like, today is the day that we're swapping out the wardrobe. We're going to make it happen. It's now spring. We're gonna clean out all that cold weather, winter and fall stuff from the wardrobe and just have a wardrobe refresh together. Before I do that though, let's have some coffee, let's go out for a walk in the park, and maybe hit up some secondhand shops as well while we're at it. And I thought, let me just take you with me today. We're gonna have a chilled Sunday together and just get ready for those spring vibes. So what do we actually wanna accomplish in the wardrobe refresh? I feel like I've just filled up my closet to the brim essentially. I would like to have a wardrobe that's a little bit less cluttered and maybe a little bit more intentional. I feel like I've come a long way on my wardrobe journey already. I feel like now I've gotten pretty good at only buying stuff that I actually want to have in my wardrobe and not being kind of that person who just buys an item of clothing just because I like it, right? But I buy it because I feel like it will suit my personal style and it will fit into my wardrobe. And yeah, Let's just bring out all this winter and fall vibes and bring in some spring freshness, right? And hopefully declutter some stuff along the way so that I can get a little bit closer to be that minimalist queen I'm actually kind of desiring to be, right? <laughs> Uh, I'll never be a minimalist queen, let's be honest. Anyway, let's drink up our coffee, gain the power that we need to actually go through all of this stuff, and um, like I said, first we'll actually make use of this nice day, go out into the park, maybe hit up some thrift stores. That feels kind of counterintuitive for this video, actually, but I mean, I do enjoy going into a good thrift store. That's the way I feel like I've become a little bit more intentional with what I buy right because I do kind of work with a shopping list nowadays and I do ensure that I only buy stuff that I actually have on my list and that I think will match with the rest of my wardrobe right and I always try to find it secondhand first so that's my justification for going to thrift shop and thereafter let's try to uh, make a wardrobe refresh and declutter a little bit hopefully there won't be a haul in this video because if there isn't a haul in this video, then it means I didn't refill my closet even more. But anyway, let me stop rambling and let's go out and catch this gorgeous day. So what are we actually wearing today? I mean, for our jewelry, of course, we're wearing the same stuff as usual. I'm wearing my Amanda necklace with the little key of life. This is in Arabic, if you didn't... <laughs> If you didn't compute. I'm wearing my usual rings, all that I've gotten from family, my usual watch, my little dainty bracelets. Where are they? Here they are. I have one with a little evil eye. Oh my gosh, my hands are so dry. This is embarrassing. And my two click H bracelets. Then I'm wearing just a white t-shirt. That's from Tiger of Sweden. And I'm wearing a little blue knit shirt above it. And then for my pants, can we make you see this? Will this work? Hello? And then for my pants, I'm wearing my usual Levi's vintage denim, which my grandma bought in New York in the 80s. If you're a subscriber to this channel, you already know. But yeah, this is what we're working with for our casual little day out and decluttering at the end of the video.
Hey friends, welcome back. It's now the next day. Yesterday was a little bit of a fail in terms of actually refreshing the wardrobe. It was such a lovely day. I was having such a good time taking that walk in the park, going into the thrift shops, but the closet is still not refreshed and made up to be in a spring vibe. Let's just tackle this wardrobe because it's not gonna get done by itself and I'm kind of dreading it because there's a lot of stuff, but let's just, let's just go, right? We don't have time to waste time anymore. What do we actually have here? I mean, we have a lot of hanging clothes, right? And I feel like it's generally not that messy. I mean, up there, there's a steamer and there's boxes of clothes, which I need to get through, but <laughs> let's just look at the pretty part. That's this part. So down here, we have like longer hanging things, dresses, skirts, all of that good stuff, right? And we even have some spare hangers. All right, so on this side, it's clearly very like, fall and winter focused so this would really need to refresh up here i mean in general blazers and stuff i keep for the full year because i mean a blazer is always something you can wear right but if we go into this part i mean here we have the main like knitted like fall winter madness uh kind of part of the wardrobe and here is where the main work is needed to be done. Because, I mean, Sweden may be quite cold, right? But, I mean, it's not that cold in spring and summer. I'm not, I don't even want to say it, but up there we have a suitcase that's like a big, huge suitcase, actually, and it's full of clothes as well. So, you and I, we have a lot of work to do today. I'm not wearing any makeup, so apologies for that, but cheers. Let's grab a sip of coffee and then... Let's just get cracking with the wardrobe, shall we? Marie Kondo, she just empties all the stuff out, right? So maybe that's what we should do as well, you and I. I need something to step on. Let's see. <sighs> okay. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm already getting warm. This is off to a good start. And apologies for being this pale. I mean, I wish I was a little bit tanner, but now <laughs> this paleness is what we have to work with. All right, so that first one is empty. Let's just go through this all. I don't think I've ever worn this. Like, what is this? Where is this from? This is kind of cozy, actually. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. That's kind of cute, I guess. I didn't even know I had this. That's embarrassing, but this is kind of cute. Can you see? Hello? It's long. It's super long. Oh, but this is brilliant. I love this. 
I'm so happy we're doing this. <laughs> This is a Lululemon sweater that I will for sure wear. And you know what? <laughs> I bought this sweater back in like, I don't know when it was, like early 2000s in Berlin. And I cannot believe these sweaters are back in style, like literally. Who would have ever thought? Is this what the cool girls wear now? Like, look at me in my little sparkly sweater. Should I start wearing this? <laughs> Am I too old for this stuff? I think it has some gold over here as well. Oh my God. I actually wore this, like I said, in like the early 2000s. But no. <laughs> I'm not sure I could wear it now. <laughs> but I can obviously not get rid of it either because I mean, this is just a piece of history. And look at that sleeve as well. Oh my gosh, the details never stop on this thing. <laughs> I for sure thought these things were like dead, dying, and deceased by this point already, but apparently they're having a revival and I cannot get rid of it now, obviously. Do I wear this? Maybe. Yay! I just got a new subscriber. That's fun. If you're still watching this video and you're liking it, please don't forget to give it a like. Comment below if you're also doing some sort of spring cleaning. And do also subscribe to stick around for more organized videos than this. Yeah, all of this will be too warm. But not this. This is good. You're a good sweater. A sign of why I thought I needed to clear out my- Whoa, I lost my balance there. <laughs> a sign of why I thought I needed to clear out my wardrobe a little bit as well was that, I mean, not only that the weather is warming up, but also, I mean, when I start leaving out clothes, like hanging on chairs, I know that I'm dreading putting stuff in my closet. And that's a clear sign that I need to actually refresh, see what is in there. I mean, even though it's not full, so I mean, I can still fit the stuff physically in there, right? But when I just start dreading putting stuff in my closet, I know, I know I need to clear out my wardrobe. <laughs> How are we feeling? Are we feeling good about spring and summer 2022? What are you excited to wear actually? I would love to know. I mean, for me personally, I'm excited to wear all the lighter colors, bring out maybe my Mulberry Alexa in the plaster pink color. We all know I spoke about that one in my least used designer bag video. But I mean, it's a gorgeous spring color, right? So I'm excited to bring it out. I'm also so excited to wear trench coats. So my new Burberry trench coat in the short Sandringham style. I'm also excited to wear like all the linen shirts. Actually, yeah. Yesterday, I found this gorgeous white linen shirt. I found it in the men's section and it's of the Swedish brand Strems and it's 100% linen. I obviously bought mine secondhand and I bought it for $20 or the equivalent of $20, 200 Swedish crowns basically. Isn't this the most like low-key, laid-back summer vibe? Maybe not with this specific outfit, but how effortless, how chic, how timeless, how cute. I mean, I'm obsessed. And $20? I mean, what a steal. <laughs> so white shirts obviously can never go wrong, right? So these I'll obviously keep in here. My recent find from yesterday is in here as well. What do we think about pink stripes? I mean, that's kind of spring appropriate, right? I mean, this shirt just gives me like boomer dad vibes. So I'm not sure if it's actually something for me, but I think I'll keep it in here. I'll give it a chance because pink is really cute for spring. If I haven't worn it after this spring season, then I'll get rid of it. 
we have a deal, right? That's a good deal. This shirt I love. This is gonna be featured in an outfit of the week video. I wore it last week and I'm literally obsessed with it. It's so cute. This is also gonna be featured in an outfit of the week video because I wore this last week as well and I'm obsessed with this shirt too. I've had it for years and it's just one of the best shirts ever. That's a great one, that's a great one. And like I said with blazers, I mean I wear blazers all year round. In the winter and fall seasons I might wear them more as kind of like an underlayer underneath my jackets and stuff, but during the spring and summer season I wear them kind of as jackets. I have another linen shirt but this time in navy blue. I bought this last summer and I literally wore it like, I was gonna say on a daily basis, but that might have been a slight exaggeration, but at least on a weekly basis, I wore it. But where am I actually gonna put all of this stuff? Hmm. I'm not sure. But that's an issue for a later Amanda, right? Maybe like in an hour or so, but okay. Yes, this one I like. No. And oh my gosh, this one I'm so excited to wear. I bought it last year. It's like a little black Missoni type beach dress. And it has the most gorgeous texture to it. Can you see that? Like, look at this one. How pretty. I mean, it obviously has some hairs on it because... <laughs> if you have a light colored cat and you have a black dress, I mean, you know how that works. Do you see all this space? Oh my gosh. Will I have anything to wear? Like literally, what am I gonna do with all of this stuff? Why do I have so many clothes? Oh my gosh, I'm embarrassed. <sighs> Send help. <laughs> Oh my god, what am I gonna do now? And I've literally decluttered three things. Good job. So in here we've made a little bit of progress. I mean, it mainly looks exactly the same, so that's not very exciting. And here we've removed a little bit of stuff and now refreshed the skirts a little bit. Here we've made a lot of space actually on the pants shelf. This is horrendous. Oh my gosh, how can I have these many clothes? And in here, I mean, there's a lot of space. There was, it was like full of sweaters, but now or I think this is a lot of space. So now let's bring out some boxes and see what actual spring and summer stuff I have in there, right? Let's go. Do people wear these things? Like, is this cool? I remember I wore this in high school. Like, do I, do I keep this? Do I give it away? Like what, what is this vibe? Is this a vibe? I remember we called this the emergency vest because everyone borrowed it from me. I mean, guys borrowed it, girls borrowed it, because I mean, obviously it's a universally fitting vest, right? <laughs> I feel like I cannot get rid of the, the emergency vest. <laughs> uh, it's so ugly, but okay. We'll keep it, that's a funny memory. This is from the brand Mink Pink. I think this one is kind of cute, actually. And it's perfect for those, like, summery days. I mean, look at the, look at the colors of this one. Isn't this the cutest thing you've ever seen? Yes.
Ooh, this one I like. This is an, what is it? This is an Alexander Wang little crop top. This is perfect. Yes, we are here for stripes this spring and summer season. Awesome. This one I'm already excited to wear in the fall and winter. It's like this vintage Versace skirt and it has the most gorgeous velvet. Do you see this velvet? Oh my gosh, isn't that the most luxurious thing you've ever seen? I'm obsessed. But it's not spring and summer appropriate. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so heavy. How are we gonna do this, fam? <laughs> I'm not convinced. <laughs> oh my gosh. If I fall, I need to have it on video. This could be funny. What if I actually fall, though? <laughs> On to the next one. Are we still a fan of self-portrait? I mean, I think this one is really cute, but what do you think? I mean, it's so like spring and summer appropriate. The only downfall is that I hate an exposed zipper, right? So I'm not a fan of the zipper on the back, but I mean, otherwise I think this dress is just bomb the bomb.com yeah like what isn't this the shortest skirt we've ever seen did i actually wear this i cannot wear these short skirts this is ridiculous oh my gosh no <laughs> no My dad got me this sign, oh my gosh. <laughs> my dad got me this sign when he was in Las Vegas once. <laughs> what does this tell you? Am I a mule? He wanted to hang this on my door. <laughs> I mean, I think it's kind of cute and it's kind of fun, but... Dad, what did you want to tell me by buying this sign for me? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> All right, so final stretch fam. Let's just put back all of this. I mean, this is all the spring and summer stuff I wanna bring out. So let's just try to fit this all in the wardrobe and then we're, then we're done with the wardrobe refresh. How exciting. Like, what a vibe. Imagine this with like on top of a bikini and we're like on the beach. Like what? How excited are we for spring and summer? <laughs> so excited. And we're done, that's it. Let me just show you what we just accomplished because this was a mission, right? The storage boxes are up there. The actual hanging stuff kind of still looks similar apart from the fact that there's more on the lighter side of the wardrobe, which I'm so excited about. And like I said, I mean, blazers to me are kind of all year items, right? So they're staying in my wardrobe. Down here, we do have a little bit more space. We have my black denim, we have my blue denim, we have my 
black kind of suit pants or slacks and my collared suit pants or slacks. So there we do have some space, which is nice. But instead, because here I had skirts before, which was not good because I barely knew they existed. So down here we have some skirts and some dresses, which I hang like across the hanger because I mean some dresses especially knit dresses usually get ugly in the shoulder from hanging on hangers so those I usually just hang across this bottom bit of the hanger and we have some more light color dresses a lot of like linen stuff and you know bright colors which i'm so excited about as well and up here we do have some lighter colored knits some thinner knits as well and down here we have my t-shirts and stuff look how pretty and tidy and neat i'm so happy with this and i mean especially this just look at those colors yay and there we have it my wardrobe is refreshed and reorganized for the spring and summer season. Have you already organized your spring closet? Let me know in the comments. I mean, for me, this was a whole journey. I hope it went a little bit smoother for you. Like I said, this kind of gave me a reminder that I do have a lot of clothes. I feel like I do need to declutter because this is a little bit too much i guess but that is a topic for another day i'm not gonna become a minimalist overnight even though i love watching minimalist content on youtube i mean i find it so soothing i find it so calming but i don't think full-on minimalism is for me what i do take away from minimalist videos is that i need to be intentional with what i bring into my wardrobe right and that's what i'm trying to do and that's why i'm trying to kind of like refresh my memory every season of what I'm wearing and what I'm not wearing. Baby steps. Baby steps are better than no steps, right? I think so. But without rambling on for too long, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's been a long video and if you're still here, you are a real one. Thank you for staying on for this amount of time. <laughs> and if you did like the video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. It helps my channel out tremendously. And I love having you here and interacting with you all in the comments. And until my next video, stay safe, take care, and see you soon. Bye. Tee -hee.